You're with the urban sports scene here at the Norfolk Scope Arena on day two of the MEAC tournament. Wole, we cover University of Maryland Eastern Shore, in addition to all the schools that are here, but that is our school, and our school was victorious tonight, 80-64 to over the Morgan State Bears for the second day in a row the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, a.k.a. UMES, has sent home a Morgan State team. And honestly, it wasn't a shock that they won, yeah. but it was how they won. What was your thoughts on their performance? Well, it's wild because I know when I saw them in pregame, and I just saw how hyped they were. I was like, this could be a different outcome. You know, we saw the game at, at, at UMES, right? And we saw when they played Morgan State, how Morgan State took that, won that game 68-61, am I correct? I think 68-61, they won that game. And we just, I just wasn't happy with the vibe. I just didn't think they were like energetic enough. And we saw Coach Craven, he wasn't excited about, you know, the outcome of that game. But to, not today, that sense of urgency was there, man. And everybody was there, and it was definitely, you could see it, like when it, you know it comes to Nate Pollard, it comes with Zion Styles, like the, Zion Styles, excuse me. These kids were ready to play, man. It was amazing. So defensively, UMES always gets after it. Yeah. But tonight, both coaches recognize these teams each press very well. Defensively, full court pressure. UMES applied the pressure. Morgan could not handle that pressure. What was your thoughts on how the Hawks defended? First, I thought they defended great. Um, I thought having Fafana back in the lineup was a key. Like he mm -hmm. strapped defensively, and also in terms of the offense, he was another ball handler that they needed to kind of beat the press. Uh, just but back to defense, they forced 23 turnovers, and I just think like looking at that, that tells the story right there. Because if you, if you looked at what we saw, you know, last week, they weren't doing that. But this defense was different, and you know, Coach Crafter talk, Craft, um, Crafter talked about how they they press more this game. They press more, they played some man, they backed out. They, and it's, it's something about when Morgan State, they love to press as well, but something about pressure, putting putting a press on a team that likes to run the press. Mm -hmm. And they also, it kind of forces turnovers. So I just like the whole game plan. I think Coach Crafton was prepared, he was prepped. And just, I feel like they felt like they had their whole team together and they feel really confident in this MEAC tournament. Again, no shock uh, uh, that UMES got the victory. However, 80 points, if 80 points is what the UMES Hawks are going to score, it's going to be a tough out. Now, Howard, the number one seed in the MEAC, is next for UMES. It's going to be a tough game. Howard is tall. They can shoot. They're playing their best basketball. Um, what are you expecting in this matchup? And defense travels. That's one thing we, on, we know. The UMES has one of the best defenses in the country, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. They, they, lead this, they lead the nation in steals, you know, per steals in, in, in a game. So, to me, like, the defense travels. It's going to be a tough game for both, for both teams. UMS has, has split the series with Howard this season. Uh, they, won at, they won at home, and they lost at, at Howard. So, I mean, I think this game's going to be competitive. I feel like this whole tournament is what we all, we all thought it was going to be. So, I just feel like you're going to see a hard-fought game by both teams and made the best team win. So thanks for joining us. Tomorrow, day three at the MEAC tournament is going to probably be one of the best. You got North Carolina Central playing Norfolk State on both the men's and women's side, and then you have Howard playing UMES on both the men's and women's side. On a Friday night, the fans are going to pack the arena. It's going to be a lot of green and gold. As we know, we're in Norfolk, yeah. Norfolk Scope Arena. Yeah, man. Uh, but listen, rep your HBCUs. Continue to support the, support the urban sports scene. Thank you for listening. Continue to follow us. Check, out us on, check us out on all social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be having more and more coverage of the uh, MEAC tournament up into the championship. Mm -hmm. We thanks again. Thank you.